The Defense Academy and the charge to promote gender equity to equip female cadets with confidence, efficiency, and resilience for future leadership roles in the society and in the Nigerian Armed Forces for nation building. The minister emphasized the need to empower female cadets for challenging positions in a military career to unlock their full potential by creating an enabling environment to foster creativity and to pave way for gender equality in the armed forces. She commends the Academy for producing the first Nigerian female graduate of Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst in the UK, urging other female cadets to strive for excellence in the male-dominated profession so as to make the nation proud. We are looking for how our children will learn skills on time to be able to give them a voice. Where I'm telling the old girls and boys, turn that money to putting up a skill acquisition centers in your schools. Contribute the money. There are so many ways we can help our country. If we don't save our nation, nobody will save it. If we want this, our girls to remain all our children, all you men and women are my children as Minister of Women Affairs. Yes, I'm your mother. And if I want my children to live, is to make the society more robust, is to cut down on poverty, and crime will automatically come down. That way, army will not need to risk their lives to go into battle for insurgency. So many people that, that are convincing today to join Boko Haram and so on, they, most of them join out of poverty. Then why are we not fighting it? Your visit is a testament to your unwavering commitment to empowering women and promoting gender equality in our nation. We commend your tireless efforts and achievements over the past one year, and we look forward to continuing our collaboration. As the Minister of Women Affairs, your pledge to eradicate gender-based violence and enhance women's economic empowerment resonates deeply with us. These issues are particularly relevant to our female cadets who are the future leaders of not just our armed forces but our nation in general. And also the Commandant of Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General John Ochai, reaffirmed the institution's principles of equity, inclusivity and diversity in the scheme of its affairs. He pledged to support the realization of government policies relating to gender equality. The Nigerian Defense Academy pursue issues of equality, inclusiveness and diversity. Of the five major areas of discrimination in the United Nations, uh, gender is one, and in the Nigerian Defense Academy we don't cherry pick, we adhere to all the standards of equality among all groups, be there the, of different gender, different religion or ethnicity. Uh, it doesn't matter to us. Uh, with this motivation, I have no doubt that these uh, cadets behind us will work hard to aspire to be the best and to fulfill their God-given potentials. I am so satisfied, but I'm Oliver Twist. I'm asking for more. I'm still asking for 35% affirmative. But so far, I applaud Ami. I am so happy. Look at them. Just take a look at the innocent faces I am seeing here. And I can, I can assure you, any day there are commanders somewhere, of which I've heard some of them are already, you will see a huge difference. Remember, the men are our children. So they are not wiser than us. <laughs> we still respect them as the men. But when it comes to being firmer um, and straighter, the women are there to give you that. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.